Yeah, so we've just been working in the longan netted area, harvesting longans and also starting to do some pruning, um, getting ready for winter. It's in the same family as a lychee, um, not quite as sweet and it's got a little bit more texture. Yeah, we're one of the few commercial growers in the area. Longans are from Southeast Asia and with the climate we've got here, um, it's pretty much the same to there. So we go to explore these fruits that aren't conventional in kind of Western diets, but within Asian cuisine are, are quite common. You can enjoy it fresh, but then also once you start dehydrating it, the like possibilities are kind of endless. Like turning it into a sugar or um, kind of not dehydrating it all the way and using it as a substitute for dates or raisins in cooking. Like it's so nice to be able to explore the possibilities of it as an ingredient beyond just eating it as a fresh fruit. They start flowering in spring and they start fruiting um, towards the end of summer. Um, but we're lucky as well because we have um, lychees as well as longans. The lychee season is a lot sooner um, and they kind of roll in succession. So we finish up the, li uh, the lychees, um, do a prune and then pretty much straight away the longans are coming in. So it's kind of nice to have that staggering of fruit. And uh, yeah, we've been getting about 100 to 150 kilos of fruit off the trees a week since then. Longans being in a netted area, it's great for us to protect the fruit from bats and birds. Um, obviously we like sharing the produce with the, the native wildlife, but for a commercial product we need to be able to take it to that peak ripeness that you can't do outside of the net. The other benefit of the nets is that we can run our chickens through there really easily. They feel very safe in there, um, not only because of the canopy of the trees, but then also because of the nets. Um, after they left the, the boiler room, uh, layer hens came to the netted area and that was kind of their first space to kind of grow up in. Um, so it was great they weren't in a chicken caravan, they were just kind of roosting in the trees and in like a small um, pen that they had there. Uh, we finished the fruiting, uh, we're going to run the cows through there for the first time which is going to be exciting to see um, what impact they have uh, both on the, the ground cover but then also on um, eating the leaves as a, as a fodder. Even though it is a monocrop in that particular area, we are just growing longans. We don't have diverse planting. The introduction of animals into that system is the unique thing that we're doing. So actually, the majority of the longans that we've been selling have been through the Byron Bay market. Um, we've sold a couple bunches to like uh, Santos and a few other places, but the vast majority has been direct to consumer um, from our stall at the market. And like having that interaction with people at the, the market, I think is crucial for a product that isn't as well known. Like everyone knows what a lychee is and they kind of just sell themselves. But with the longans, you've got to have that interaction with the customers to kind of show them, explain to them, and show them the other possibilities for the product. So having it in a fresh form and also in a dehydrated form, people get to explore it in a new way. Like get to build this new relationship with this new food that they hadn't known before. And having those recurring customers come back at the markets when they're like so excited that we're back again with the longings is, is really beautiful. <laughs>